guys, it is me, Gaming Guy TV here. Um, yes, we are indeed back in Subnautica. So, we ended up making very good progress last time. Which is what we need to do again today. So, the hope for this episode is we can hopefully finish the radiation suit. And then, that's probably our goal, is finish the radiation suit. going through Instagram right now. Sorry guys. All right. So, we are back in our little escape pod here. We got a knife. So, what do we need for the radiation suit? Equipment. Fiber mesh, right, we still need to unlock that. So, I'm gonna do some googling research real quick. Fiber mesh. Subnautica. Basic materials acquired from creep vine sample. Recipe. Two creep vine samples. Alright. So we need two good creep vine samples. And if we look in here, I believe we have a rotten creep vine sample, which I just ate because we can't use it for anything, I don't think. Drop that. And head over into where the creep vine samples that we found were. So that means if we head over into here. Creep vine sample, creep vine sample. Nice. We got what we needed. I'm so used to auto run in Fortnite. Wow. Um. Another thing is, guys, with about a month and a half of summer left, I'm trying to crank out these videos. My goal is to get to 3,000 overall views. Or 3,100, and we're already at 2,900. Um, so I think we can make that work. Use fabricator resources. Fiber mesh. So now what we need to do is figure out how to get lead. So lead subnautica. Raw materials acquired from sandstone outcrop. Alright, so if we go into personal equipment radiation suit, are you freaking kidding me? Do we need two? We'll see. Um, we already have one lead. 
but we don't have two lead. So we need to go back out into the vast biome of stuff over here and grab a bunch more samples in our inventory. Make sure that's not decaying. Nope, not decaying whatsoever. Now, what we need to do is look down on the ground around here and see if we can find any lead. Because more lead is the other thing that we so desperately need for this radiation suit. go back up for some oxygen nice okay acquired from sandstone outcrop harvesting node I am um, it says it's in the kelp forest so I think we just need to look in here, because this is certainly a kelp forest. I think we just need to look for bricks like we found there. And those noises are creeping me out, man. And our inventory is full. We have a bunch of metal salvage. That's what probably drop some of that sandstone outcrop is what we need here it says it's also found in kelp forest caves it doesn't help any Could have hit here. Limestone. Dang it. And sandstone. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. We need to get up for some air. We are now at full oxygen level. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah. Night for that. It doesn't tell us time of day. So 
Now that's the noise we've been hearing. I'm gonna guess that's probably toxic. It's just a hunch. Call me crazy. Not at all what I meant to do. See one of those things. That's the spawner where they come from. So yeah, I'm not going in there. Okay, so the only thing we can't find is lead. That's literally the only thing we can't find today, is lead. So... What we desperately, desperately need right now is some lead. So, <clears throat> if we just explore around here, copper, dang it, titanium, we need lead. Take immediately. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna have to wrap today's episode up. But we did at least get all of the fiber mesh parts we need, which is good. Um, which means that we can now basic materials. We don't need titanium, we need lead. Can make some more fiber mesh. Now, if we now it should show fiber mesh times two. All right. Do we have anything that could possibly be lead? No. Nope. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, this game is a ton of fun to play. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye.